Okay, this is problem 59, and here, you know, the first response is, what the heck is going on? I mean, like, what? You've got this weird formula, you've got this reference to formaldehyde. So, first things first, formaldehyde, you need to memorize, looks like this, okay? Acetone looks like this. Acetaldehyde looks like this, okay? So, we're going to remember that formaldehyde looks like this, okay? That's number one. Number two, you need to remember that if you have a ketone or an aldehyde and you treat this with a diol, okay, that forms a cyclic acetal, all right? Um, of course, under acid catalysis, okay? So this right here is a diol. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, this thing called catechol, Okay, and this is a diol. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take formaldehyde. Okay, and we're going to um, make the cyclic acetal. So this um, oxygen right here is going to bond to this carbon. This oxygen right here is going to bond to the same carbon and we're going to remove H2O. Here's the oxygen, here's the two hydrogens. So the pattern is gonna look like this. Okay. And in uh, yellow here, I'm gonna just draw that dotted carbon. I'm gonna draw these two hydrogens. And, you know, carbon has four bonds, and you don't really need to draw the H's. So we could clean this up a little bit. You form uh, this, okay? So, yeah, that's the uh, molecule there. You form this nice uh, five-membered five 